Hello viewers, this time we will do again something different and the pattern described here will be a chain transmission by Jerzy Zbikowski. This is basically a mechanical power amplifier and let's see the drawings how this could be possible. Alright viewers, so let's see what we have here. This is some interesting device. Yeah, It's not a device, it's basically the pattern is a chain transmission. Yeah, The chain transmission is the patent. And what does it say? Yeah, uh, with the measurements have be, have been shown that uh, on this, so this will be basically the the motor which will transmit this uh, sprocket, and through this chain and uh, this blue is just the tensioner of the chain will produce on this second sprocket 147 percent more power. Yeah, from the first side. Somebody would say, yeah, that's logic. The smaller sprocket always gives on the bigger sprocket a higher power, but you have the slower rotation. But in this case, it's not so. And why is that? Because you can uh, the small and the big sprocket have the same number of teeth. Yeah, the, it's the same. They are they are differently shaped. Yeah, but they have the same number. In this case, 16 teeth are in this sprocket, and of course, in this smaller smallest sprocket as well and what is the difference in transmission yeah so it's claimed that uh, or it's measured then on this second sprocket we will have 147 percent uh, more power than the first with ratio gear ratio one to one which is impossible in real case but what is here the idea and what is the the key or key difference between other chain mechanisms in this one you can see that there is uh, this some kind of triangular shape of the e each teeth of the chain but you can see that if i if i turn this around you will see that this outside part yeah it's moving the chain yeah uh, the sprocket sorry so you can see that outside part it's leaning in and moving the chain but on the other side if I move it on the other side and I will hide, hide, oh, sorry, sorry, not that, isolate, hide object, on the other uh, on the other side it's different, so basically on this side you can see that the chains are going into the teeth, yeah, so that's the difference, and this only, uh, this blue is only the tensioner, yeah, and now you can see the difference, this is moving uh, outside, it's not on the chain and this is in the chain yeah in the chain the sprocket is in the chain you can see now it will move each tooth or teeth yeah how uh, maybe i don't pronounce it too well but basically that's it yeah that's called the mechanical power on high uh, mechanical power amplifier yeah so this is our main yeah. so in theory, if, if you think about this in, in just theoretical terms, we would get with, let's say, some kind of um, scaling of this mechanism, if this is 140% of the input power provided by this motor, with 3, 4, and 5 in the series, we could provide, uh, it could be a self-sustained system. Yeah, So that's a logical, if you get more power input than than the output power than the input you inside so so basically with special design we would be able to make this system self-supply yeah self-sustained and basically this is the chain transmission patent very unusual but people who are working in, uh, in this uh, me mechanism with mechanism they will understand if this is even possible so that's it all right viewers. so that was jersey's bikovsky mechanical power amplifier or chain transmission patent. So can it work? I don't know, but it really does look cool. And it has uh, the interesting design with the teeth uh, and um, how these teeth are transmitting the power to the sprockets. Yeah. So can it work? Yeah, there is a video you can see here uh, of, uh, in, in, um, you can check this guy which is measuring, I think it's in Polish language, but anyway, it does show that the output power is bigger than the input power. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.